Hi, we are just running a couple of errands. I actually had to go to this area for a doctor's appointment, just a routine, um, you know, your annual physical thing. So I did that and I had a return from um, an online J. Crew factory return thing I needed to do. And instead of spending the $9 to return it, you know, if I did it by mail, I looked up the nearest J. Crew factory store, which I didn't think there was one anywhere near me, but hey, what do you know? There is one right here just now opened um the sign's still fresh and stuff in front so that's really cool that it opened and i figured out that it's actually here because now i can go there and look at the cute stuff and feel it and try it on in person so we're gonna go in and see what we see return the items and see if we can find something else that we like Using this fun bag this fall, which has been a blast, love the color. I've had more compliments on the color of this bag than I think I have any bag in a very long time. So um, I've not had that color before, it's kind of an olive. I really like it and it's a great bag. I'm enjoying it more than I thought. I really thought that this handle situation would get on my nerves, but it doesn't. It's, you know, it just, it works well. It does, this doesn't get in the way because it slouches. I don't know, I love it. It's a great size, it's comfortable. Really enjoying it. I would like that in other colors, to be honest. Tried on some things, liked most of them. Um, trying to move into the holiday spirit. I don't get to wear much wintry type clothes here in Florida. However, it is chilly enough that I do still wear things like this. Um, I mean, I'm in long sleeves and long pants and it says it's 88 degrees out there, but I don't believe them. Um, and I'm perfectly fine. But um, you can take the girl out of Illinois in winter, but you can't take the Illinois in winter out of the girl. So I'm still doing it. I'm still doing it. I'm pretending it's winter and fall. But I also go places like North Carolina and Jim and I have a big trip. It's big only because it's far away, but it's only for a few days um, to another country to experience a whole lot of snow and mountains. So um, I do go places where I do require some warmer clothes. So it's fun to get to look at the things and get the new colors and stuff to make it feel like, you know, winter with palm trees. So that's what I did and I found a few things and the two tops I think would be cute with white jeans. I'm one of those people that, especially in Florida, you can get away with it even better, but I still wear white jeans in the fall and winter. I put on the color of the season on top 
go with a booty or a shoe and I like the look personally. Some people can't do that. I certainly can because I love to and I like the look and that's what fashion should be all about is doing you. So that's what I do. And I think two of those tops will look really great. Actually, they all will. The sweater will too. Um, both sweaters. So anyway, it's all good. They can go with jeans, maybe black pants or the white. So I'm very happy with my purchases. So I'm excited. That was really fun. Now I have to go to a grocery store because I have, I'm going to be making some short ribs tonight. Daughter's coming over for dinner, short ribs and mashed potatoes, and I need to go to a market to get the short ribs. So that's where we're headed next to Fresh Market. also found out that there are a couple things I want to get for a couple gifts at Costco. So I'm going to quickly run to Costco. And when I say quickly run to Costco, that makes me want to laugh because it's a half an hour there and a half an hour back. So there's nothing quick about it. It takes up half the day. But I think I can still do that, still get to Fresh Market, get the short ribs, and start cooking it and braising it and all that crud for like two to three hours before my daughter is going to be here for dinner because she has she's in the area and she's gonna be here for dinner. We eat early so that she can then do the thing she does. And then sometimes she spends a night at our house too. So um, I just wanna get it all done because I know that she's gonna love this meal if I can get it all worked out. So I'm moving my way to Costco really fast. I would love to have a little bit of time to walk around there and see all the different things because they always have so many neat things. But I'm gonna to try to make a quick foray around Costco, find the things I want, grab the things I need, which I probably won't show you because otherwise they'll know what their Christmas gifts are. Um, it's just two little things for two different people that are, I'm adding to other stuff, but still, don't want to ruin it for them. Um, but yeah, that's what we're doing now. Running as fast as we can. Let's go. Well, this looks nice. Got the curtain thing here. Cool. And it's Christmas. Christmas in Costco. That is super tall. That's nice. My mom had one of these to make spritz cookies. I've never made them before. Might be fun. So I have a whole bunch of stuff in my cart, but not the thing I came for because apparently it's an online only thing for this Costco. Other Costco's have it, but not this one. So we did that. Came all the way over here for those two items of the same thing. Um, turns out they don't have them in store. They only have them online. Generally anything that they do have in store is always more expensive online. And some of the Costco's have this item in store, just not the lucky one. Um, so anyway, I didn't get that, but I ended up getting a bunch of other things. You know how it goes. Um, but one is gonna be a Christmas present. Got the cookie thing, um, cookie spritzer thing. I wanna try that this year. I think that'll be fun. Remind me of my mom's cookies. Hope that thing works well. Um, got the cutting board. I think that's gonna be fantastic for turkey time and hams and things of that. Yeah, looks great. So it's a really big size. I'm happy about that purchase. And what a fantastic price. So that was good. Um, yeah, that's kind of the thing. I got a rotisserie chicken because it's Costco. I think it's kind of mandatory to get the rotisserie chicken when you're at Costco. So we're headed home now and I'm going to try to make the, oh, I got the braised, um, I got the short ribs for the, for the braised short ribs for tonight. So I'm going to get home, start prepping things for that and make that tonight. Okay. Last stop, fresh market for like three things, I think. We have little Christmas trees already.
This is the recipe I'm using. It's going to take forever and I need more hours. So I'm speed browning these in two pans and then getting the carrots and onions and oh, I got to get the garlic ready and so forth. Celery, yeah. Okay. So this is the refuse, which is the stuff that cannot be used, the bones and whatnot. This is the meat that's left, it's decent to eat. Simmering down the, um, you know, the sauce, gravy stuff, boiling the potatoes for mashed potatoes. And we have asparagus that we are going to saute there. And we're getting there, we're getting there. So this is what it looks like when I'm cooking and it's a mess and that's how it works. And Callie is going to be here soon. So she's going to be here for dinner. We're excited. This is election night. I'm trying not to watch the TV because that's a nightmare. Don't even want to think about it. I just want it to be over with. And I'm hoping that this meal will just kind of make us all happy and content. <laughs> So the dishes are finished, dinner was done. It was really nice. Now I've been starting to watch some of the election coverage, which is a nightmare. I hate anything political. Always have hated all political stuff. Um, yeah, I just kind of like election years to be over. Don't like them at all. So yeah, I think I'm gonna go to bed, try to relax, maybe do some reading, and then I'll find out in the morning what happens. I voted, that's all I can do, and um, Hope for the very best for our country, whatever that is. So, love you guys. Thank you so, so much for being with me. Appreciate it. And I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.